after an amazing time in Milan, we were finally on our way to Sorrento by way of Napoli. I have to say that I saw a lot of negative things about the train from Napoli to Sorrento, about how dangerous it was, you can get mugged. We felt none of that. As always, just proceed with caution, make sure you don't leave anything unattended, and you'll be fine. Once we arrived, first things first, dinner. We were starving. Did you shoot them down? Are you supposed to? No. Oh, oops. <laughs> so after a long day of traveling and a little boost of food, we finally made it to Sorrento and we're walking around. And honestly, it's pretty popping. A lot of people, a lot of shops. Looks like a lot of things to do. We're gonna be here for about four or five days. So I'll take you guys along the journey for everything that we're gonna do, see, eat, and all that good stuff. So thanks for coming on the journey. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Andiamo. Very real. Do you see me? I see all of you. <laughs> Buongiorno, it's our first day in Sorrento and we kind of didn't have anything planned because it was supposed to rain today and it ended up being just cloudy. Maybe a little rain's gonna come through, but nonetheless, we're gonna try to go to Capri and just kind of get the feel of it and then maybe go back another day too. So come with us as we venture off to Capri. What do you say, Dina? And yeah, so we got our ticket. It was 43 bucks, a little more than we expected. For one way. For one way. And then we got to find our way back because the one that we booked through was already full. They were so, full at 3 o'clock. Yeah. So, what are so, we going to do? Go there for two hours? Yeah, where it's like, it's oh. noon right about now. So, oh no, about one. Anyways, yeah, so we're on our way to company. So we just got to the island. First things first, gelato time. So it wasn't part of the plan, but we got tickets to on the fun, funiculare. Uh, that's gonna take us up somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Via cable car to the city center. And it was four bucks for one, four, four bucks for two people one way. It's beautiful. It was $12 round trip per person. Um, so that's not bad. And yeah, you're just cruising on up. And I think there's like drinks and snacks and foods up there. Um, but I'll let you guys know when we get up there. But we still got quite the journey. So let's keep on going. And oh, sorry, let's keep on going and Capri. And this is Anna Capri, by the way, which I don't know what that means. A smaller Capri? So let's get up here. The views are obviously amazing, but there's also a little restaurant and you can have a drink and some food if you like. And it's like moderately priced, you know, touristy area. So it's not going to be super cheap, but I mean, it's not too bad. What do you think? I wanted more Aperol, so I ordered no Prosecco. Now it's just bubbly water with a little Aperol taste. I just got a OJ, believe it or not. No champagne. Need some vitamin C. And little did I know, from this moment on, I had caught one of the worst food poisoning bugs I have ever caught in my entire life. And look at that, I still ate pizza, which I didn't know. I just was slowly getting sick throughout the day. And by the time we got back to the hotel, I was so weak. I, I we even went out to dinner and Dina just like, oh, it's a cold, you're fine. And it, I was not fine. So we lost like a whole day after this, but I did recover eventually. And we went to Pompeii. After eating a slice of lasagna, not me, Dina, cause I was still recuperating. We made our way to Pompeii. They did make you put your backpacks in a locker. So do not bring anything really big. But once we arrived, we opted for the audio tour which is a headphone that goes into an app on their phone and you can just kind of listen to little stories when you walk around 
I the quality is very terrible so I think next time I would actually get a tour guide to show us around Pompeii because it was really really cool as you saw there were places to eat snacks and sandwiches it was a really cool experience but again I was still not feeling too great so our day there was a little short we just spent a few hours looking around walking around but it was very beautiful and I would for sure recommend going and if you can swing it getting a tour guide Buongiorno. We were looking to have just a nice relaxing beach day today. So we're going to go catch the bus about a 10 minute walk from our hotel, go down the Amalfi Coast, a nice beach and just hang out for a few hours. The ride is about an hour and a half, so that's going to be quite a ride, but it should be a beautiful one. Hopefully we get a nice seat, nice window seat and just hang out. So follow us down the Amalfi Coast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Any words to say, Dina? Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. Well, we made it and we ended up not getting off where we wanted to because he just didn't stop but we made it here to the Amalfi Coast or Amal sorry Amalfi Coast is the whole thing but the town of Amalfi and it's really gorgeous and I feel kind of nauseous because our ride was crazy so the bus ride was like two the two euro which isn't bad but if you're like you get like car sick kind of easy maybe it's not for you maybe take a ferry over here or something because it was a rough ride and I don't really get car sick and I'm not feeling too hot so anyways we found a beach which was a good thing because we were afraid we weren't gonna find one and now we're just chilling rented out a cabana $15 per person and here we are so let's enjoy the beach Margarita pizza with Parma ham, aka prosciutto. So we just finished up at the beach. Now I'm gonna go over to this pier and go shoot some drone shots because I've been itching to do so and Dina gave me the okay. Not that I need an okay. I, I mean, I have to ask. Never mind. Drone shots start now. Hope you enjoyed those. Now we're gonna go find the bus, and Tina's waiting in line for me, so it looks like she already did a good job of finding the bus back to Sorrento. On our final day, we had booked a excursion by boat along the Amalfi Coast through our hotel. It was quite pricey, but where else are you going to get a tour along the Amalfi Coast by people who are from Sorrento? It was truly super beautiful. The ride was everything you can imagine, except for me getting extremely wet. They dropped us off in the town of Positano first, which was super cool to finally see in person. You know, you only see these places um, on Instagram or YouTube. So to finally see it in person was super amazing and beautiful we enjoyed a little slushy coffees i still was on edge about my stomach so i was eating very very light we had ourselves a photo shoot and then we were back on the boat on our way to amalfi now amalfi might have been my favorite town even though we only visited two so 50 50 chance but it was a lot less steep than positano was which means it was a lot more walkable so if you have hard time walking up hills or narrow streets uh Amalfi might be better for you.
And lastly, we as we got back on the boat, they took us out for a little swim. I cannot swim, unfortunately, but Dina is a fish, so she jumped into the Amalfi Coast, which was super cool to see her do that. Our tour guides were super knowledgeable about the coast. They do this for a living, obviously, and they're from Sorrento. So it was really cool to hear the stories of Sorrento and the Amalfi Coast from locals. Once we got back, we enjoyed our final meal in Sorrento, which was, of course, pizza. And then we were back on our way to Napoli, where we were flying out of back to the States. All right, well that just about wraps up our time here in Italy. We are currently in Naples because we're flying out of Naples tomorrow morning and we're exhausted and we didn't do a whole lot here. We just got some food. We're currently at our uh, bed and breakfast and uh, it's super nice. If you wanna um, stay here, I'll link it down below because it's right by the airport and it's good for uh, if you're just flying out or you just wanna do a quick tour around the city. Funny story though that Dina wants to tell us. So we're just, we're not really in a hotel. We're in a building that has multiple hotels within it. And each hotel has like five rooms and it's located on 136 Garibaldi Boulevard Street. I don't know what the streets are called here. So we're outside of it and some lady comes up. Well, first the hotel messaged me and said, what time are you coming? And I told them 4.15 PM, we're on the train right now and we should be there by 4.15. So we get outside the hotel and someone says, oh, are you are you trying to go to 136 Garibaldi? And we said, yes. And she goes, okay, they told me that you'd be here within 30 minutes. I was like, okay, I told you an hour ago, but maybe they told her 30 minutes ago that she'll be here within 30 minutes. So then she like gets us up, the, she meets us at the door, brings us upstairs to the room, gives us a tour of the room, um, gives us a map of the city, suggests place to eat, things to do. And then um, she gets a call from her boss and basically he told her that she is talking to the wrong people and she got really mad at us, took our map and told us that we were at the wrong hotel and yeah, left us. We thought we were her friends too. She was acting really nice. I mean, not that she got mean or anything, but after that, it's like, we didn't matter. But I, I get it, you know, she's working. She didn't even say bye to us. She just said, can I have my map back? <laughs> and then she left. But yeah, this hotel was nicer than the other one. Well, this room is nicer than that other room. So it's a win for us. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, funny story. Good times. Thank you guys for sticking around. We had an amazing time. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. She knows the spiel. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next vacation. Arrivederci.